Did you know focused and radial shockwave therapies differ not only regarding their physical properties and mode of generation, but also in terms of the magnitude of the standard parameters, such as pressure amplitude, pulse duration, impact used, and the therapeutic tissue penetration depths achieved. The radial pressure wave is the most common type of shockwave therapy used in most MSK clinics. However, in recent times, due to the increased treatment options, treatment depth, treatment precision, and patient comfort in more acute cases, focused shockwave therapies are growing in popularity. In this video, we will discuss the difference between radial versus focused shockwave therapy. The radial pressure wave is mainly suitable for larger treatment areas of superficial indications with three to four centimeter treatment depth. It has slow impulse and low energy density. In contrast, focused shock waves provides a smaller focal point for greater accuracy and greater treatment depth of up to 12 centimeters. Its fast impulse and high energy density offer precise energy delivery to the exact area. Here's how they both work. The radial shock wave comprises three parts, ultrasonic pulse, audio acoustic pulse, and the relatively slow shear wave. The pressure waves lose power the deeper they enter the body. Focused shockwaves can penetrate deeper into the tissues and provides all of their power at the designated depth. Focused shockwaves are generated electromagnetically through a cylindrical coil, creating opposing magnetic fields when current is applied. Here are their biological effects. Both kinds of therapies increase the cell wall permeability, stimulate microcirculation, release the substance P neurotransmitter responsible for pain modulation, and are powerful vasodilators causing considerable hypertension. The focused shock waves offer extra cavitation release of nitric oxide, meaning increased cell metabolism, neoangiogenesis, tissue regeneration, and stimulation of growth factors, all essential for optimal tissue healing. Focused shock waves have also been shown to aid stem cell proliferation in regenerative medicine. Some focused shockwave treatments include acute injuries in elite athletes, knee and joint arthritis, bone and stress fractures, erectile dysfunction, shin splints, ostitis pubis, groin pain, insertional Achilles pain, and many more. A combination of focused and radial shockwaves has also proven to be effective and has shown outstanding results in the patients. Hopefully this video answered a lot of your questions. If you want to know more about the subject, please visit www.venhealthcare.com.